David and Goliath. Many people have heard the story of the Philistine giant that David slew, according to the accounts in both 2 Samuel 21, 19 and 1 Chronicles 20, verse 5. Goliath was of the Gittite clan. In the book of Joshua, chapter 13, it mentions that there were five lords of the Philistines, Gittites being one of them. There is another Philistine, or Gittite, whose story is never told, but it deserves to be and should be discussed, as it displays the relationship between Gentiles and Hebrews, the rejection of idolatry, nullification of idols, the seven laws of Noah, and more. In 2 Samuel 15, 18, he is, David is leaving the land. Ittai and 600 other Gittite, whom he had formerly commanded, and are about to exit with David. David's son Absalom had staged a coup at which David fled Jerusalem. He then encourages Ittai to return to Jerusalem and serve Absalom in verse 19. David refers to him as a foreigner, or a nochri. This term is the same term that was used in the story of Ruth, denoting a non-Israelite. And you are also an exile from your country. Ittai, like Ruth, had left his people and his idolatry. Uh, David then says, return, take back your brothers with you. Another admonition to separate from David, as Rashi brings, if you don't want to serve Absalom, go back to your own city. David is not ordering, but rather urging this free man and former adversary, whom he referred to as Anakri, to stay in Jerusalem or to go wherever his heart desires. I will consider it kindness and truth. Or as it says here, I will credit you the favor of kindness and truth that you have done for me. What was this kindness? In verse 21, Ittai invokes the name of the Lord here and proclaims David as my Lord the King. He is giving his allegiance, even if it cost him his own life in declaring himself a servant of to the king. Notice how these events are similar to the story of Ruth and Naomi. One commentary has it that David is a descendant of Ruth and the Gittite is a descendant of her sister. The people that are accompanying David are Gerim, Gentiles or non-Israelites, as we shall continue to see or further prove. We read in 2 Samuel 18, 1, that David had mustered, or pakat, the troops who were with him and set, them, set over them captains of thousands and captains of hundreds. Verse 2 tells us that David awarded Ittai one-third of his troops to command. The word for mustered signifies numbered. Apparently someone had counted why is this significant? Because later, in 2 Samuel 24, 9, David has Joab muster, and the same word here, pakad, the men who drew the sword, as shown here. This resulted in a plague coming upon Israel. Why was the mustering different in chapter 18 as opposed to here in chapter 24? And as a side note, Please notice that there is a distinction here between Israel and Judah. The relationship between David and Ittai must have had something to do with this account that we find in 2 Samuel chapter 12. This involved David and the crown of a foreign king. David was forbidden to wear it as the commentary describes in Avodah Zarah 44a as you can see here. Among other commentaries, and they tell us that not only is Ittai a Gentile, 
but he had rejected his idolatry and therefore nullified the idolatrous status of this crown which David placed on his head. It is otherwise forbidden for him to do so. If you have any questions on this or parts of what I've covered, I encourage of you that know a Moed or a rabbi to have a discussion with them and bring to light this individual known as Ittai.